Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the very new Beautiful Feet um, Science for kindergarten to third grade. I think it's called Seasons of Field. Um, I'm very excited for this box. I did peek at a little bit, but I haven't gone through the whole thing. So a lot of it's going to be new for me opening up. And I don't know what is with these boxes coming early and on swim days, but we just got back from swim lessons. So let's get into it <laughs> all right guys so this is the box it comes in it's really heavy oh and i don't know if you can see that pretty big okay so the first one i think i don't know this is the one i was excited about so i pulled it out so this is kind of their the spine of it um, oh, and I should mention that the um, the guidebook is, um, it's not out of stock. They just haven't completed printing it yet. So it's supposed to come the middle of September, I believe. Mid-September, yeah. So that's the only thing that isn't in the box, which I knew about, they tell you. And they did send the digital copy. So I'm thinking about printing it off. Um, and then I can do a flip through for you guys if you'd like. Okay, but anyway. So this is the main, it's a thick book. It's um, all the stories of Brimley Hedge, which we've never read. And it's just so cute. I love the illustrations. And I'm really excited for this one. This one I also think is cool. So they tell you what you need two of. And this one is a consumable book. So I'm kind of surprised that they, it, they didn't recommend for two. Um, so I might get another, but I'm gonna wait and see what the um, guidebook says, how we use it. Cause it might say, maybe you only use five the whole time. So then my boys can each pick one, but this is watercolor paper and it's showing you what colors to use. And it's, it's so cute. I've never seen anything like this. So you actually paint out of the pages of the book. Super fun. Okay. We also just got back from vacation late last night. So I haven't even unpacked or done anything. This is my first thing that I did. I was coming back. <laughs> um, so it comes with their normal, well, it comes with one of their normal Beautiful Feet notebooks. I haven't had one of these yet. Um, just a regular old notebook. I ordered a second for my other son because I have a four-year-old and a six-year-old kindergarten, first grade. Packing slip receipt. Um, just like an ad magazine, not one of the books. Okay, read alouds. Miss Maple Seeds. really cute the golden glow gosh there's so many books i don't know if i should open up them all but this is about different flowers and things i love how the illustrations aren't all really similar they've all got their own kind of thing going on fall walk the year of the perfect christmas tree oh that's kind of fun they're gonna have a little bit of christmas in here in the study. That's really cute. Home in the woods. A little map. The boys love it when there's a map at the beginning. Ooh, this looks really cool. Has different seasons in it. Um, okay, this I've not opened yet. I didn't really want to, but I'll go ahead and open it for you guys. This is the Field Notes watercolor cards. So, oh, cool. Okay. So it has kind of similar to that book, different watercolor cards to use. And this one even has, oh, that's fun. So you like cut out and put where the different parts of its body are. So there's, gosh, 20 of those or so. And then this is what some of the field notes look like. They're not all the same. Look really fun. So that they did recommend to get two of. Um, I mean, however many kids you're doing the study with, which I'm doing it with two. So we got two of these. And like I said, I haven't really looked at the guidebook. I scrolled through the PDF and um, saw a little bit of it, but I don't know exactly when or like how often we'll be using that stuff. But if there's 20 or 30 and there's like 72 lessons, I think, 
Seems like every other lesson or so we'll be using that stuff. Owl Moon. Winter Sleep, a hibernation story. This reminds me of um, Up in the Garden, Down in the Dirt type of books, but it's different. A uh, different author, it looks like. Alice Waters cooks up a food revolution. Hmm. That sounds cool. <laughs> There's a lot of books. I'm almost done. Okay. Pond. This one looks really pretty. Gosh, I'm really excited for all of these. You know, my favorite part about Beautiful Feet is just like building our library. Because it's hard finding books that are um, age appropriate and educational good Albert. This one looks really, really pretty too. And here's another bigger one. Slow down, 50 mindful moments in nature. Oh, that's really pretty. My one-year-old will love this cover. She's very interested in butterflies because she loves, of course, the Hungry Caterpillar book. Oh, this is beautiful. This, you know, this reminds me of, if you've seen any of our like curriculum type videos that we're using, the um, symbiosis. I mean, that's not what it's about, but it just reminds me because it's like two pages for each thing. Oh, wow. Yes, this is definitely our kind of book. I love this. Just learning about um, different animals and different things they do over just two pages. I love that. Tales of the Mushroom Folk. This looks adorable. And this is kind of like matte and I don't know, I like the cover. <laughs> are you are you people that, are you someone that like keeps the outer thing that comes on it? Because I'm not. Because then I, I just stress over it getting ripped or something so I just take them off. Oh, it's all about different mushrooms. So it's not really a story, it's like little tiny short stories I think. That's cute. Okay, last book, Snowflake Bentley. Oh, this looks really cute too. This looks like it might be a, um, based on a true story too. So a little bit of history there. All right, you guys, that is the, wow, I can hardly lose these. Giant stack of books that it comes with. And of course these two. Huh. Not even including the guide. My goodness, it's a lot of books. Okay, well, I'm very excited for this. Um, if I do end up printing it, I'll give you guys a flip through. Otherwise, when it comes in the mail, I'll do that. Um, if you're dying to see a flip through, just leave a comment and I will try and print it out. Um, I just don't really want to print it off. I don't have to, but if you guys want to see it, that's totally fine. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. Once we do start getting into this, I will definitely do like, like I'm gonna do with the geography which I have a video on geography unboxing as well. Um, I'll show you guys how I set up the lessons and everything once I get really into it. But okay, thanks for joining me for this um, impromptu unboxing, which is how they usually are. <laughs> all right, have a good one, guys. Make sure to subscribe so you can check out all my videos. Thanks.